morning! I am Teacher Precious and welcome to another online children's message. So how are you today? I hope you are all doing well and safe and good there. So I have a question. Um, who among you knows Simon Peter from the Bible? Yeah. Some of you may know him but others may not. And uh, if hindi niya pa siya kalala, Let's, uh, pwede nyo siyang basahin sa Luke chapter 5, verse 1 to 11, or let's just watch this, kids. Stories of the Bible. Jesus calls Peter. This is Jesus. hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus grew up in Nazareth. Hey, Jesus. And was baptized by John in the Jordan River. Jesus began teaching about God's love and healing people of their sickness. One day, John saw Jesus walking by and told the people around him that Jesus was the Lamb of God. One of the people standing with him was Andrew, whose brother was Simon, who would later be known as Peter. Andrew went to find his brother and said, We have found the Christ! Whoa! Right? Come on! Simon went with Andrew and met Jesus. Uh-huh, I'm Simon. Jesus looked at Simon and said, Your name is Simon, son of John. Yes, it is. But you will be called Peter. Uh, okay. On another day, Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee, and lots of people crowded around him to hear what he had to say. Oh, uh, uh hello. Well, oh, okay. Jesus noticed two empty boats for Andrew and Peter had left them and were washing their nets. Jesus stepped into one of the boats hey, Peter. and asked Peter to take him out into the sea. Aye, aye. So he sat in the boat and taught the crowds from there. When he had finished speaking, he said to Peter, Now go out where it is deeper and let down your nets to catch some fish. Uh... But Peter said, we worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I'll let the nets down again. And this time, their nets were so full of fish, they began to tear. Whoa! They called to some other fishermen for help. Hey, help! And soon both boats were filled with fish. When Peter realized what happened, he fell to his knees before Jesus and said, Oh, Lord, please leave me. I'm such a sinful man. Jesus replied to Peter, Don't be afraid. Come, follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people. Really? Really. And as soon as they landed, they left their nets and followed Jesus. So Simon Peter became one of Jesus' 12 disciples and followed his friend Jesus throughout his time on earth. video, diba? Right. So, I have questions, kids. I think you can answer this naman because you watch the video. <laughs> and number one, what did Jesus ask Peter to do? To put the net down again. That's right. It's the net. And have you observed that Jesus didn't tell Simon Peter that he would catch any more fish, diba? Right? But Simon still listened to Jesus. He let the net down again. And what happened after that? He caught a lot of fish. He caught fishes na it's more than they could ever imagine. To the point that the net started to break. And nagtawag na sila ng mga kasama nila. From how many nights na wala silang nakukuhang isda. And then, there's Jesus who said na ibaba ulit nila yung net nila. And from that moment, nagkaroon ulit sila ng harvest ng fish. Amazing, right? And the third question is that, what did Jesus tell the men at the end of the story? He told them that they they would be fishers of men. That's right. 
they would be fishers of men. When we say fishers of men, um, it means that they will be the ones to tell others about Jesus. They would be the ones to convince them that Jesus is the only way to have life. Tayo kids, we are fishers of men. You know what's amazing kids is that Jesus decided to use ordinary men like Simon Peter to tell people about himself. He didn't use um, a politician or a king or any people with high, high position but he used an ordinary man like Simon Peter. Galing, no? The men could not catch any more fish until Jesus helped them. And tayo, we are also fishers of men. How po, teacher? Not with a fishing pole or a net, but by showing kindness and love to other people. Hmm. Extending a hand to one another, to those who are in need, or by just simply praying for the sick. Yung mga may sakit ngayon, mga nilalagnat, mga inuubo, let's offer them a prayer. Or even just by sharing your food sa friend mo. You know kids, there are a lot of ways to show kindness. To show kindness and love to other people. But always remember na we cannot do all those things with, without the help of God. Because He is our source. Just like Peter, nakakuha sila ng fish pagdating ni Jesus, right? And tayo din, we cannot do anything without the help of God. So, tara kids, um, dance tayo. Chapter 5, verse 10. It says, 
Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you will fish for people. Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you will fish for people. Let's pray, kids. Oh Lord, our gracious and loving God, we thank you so much, Pa, for this day that you have given us. The opportunity to once again listen to your word. Father, thank you for Luke 5, chapter 1 to 11, that we are reminded to be not afraid because we have you. Lord, we are reminded that we are also fishers of men, Panginoon, and that we could be your instruments of, of love and grace, Panginoon. We could, could extend other people to other people what we are receiving from you as well. Father, tulungan niyo po kami kasi kayo po ang source namin and we cannot do anything without you. Father, we lift everything up to you in the loving name of your son, Jesus, friends. Amen and amen. Bye, kids! See you next week!